guys, this is Nagi Hawk. First of all, I want to wish you guys a happy new year and hope you guys are having an amazing year so far. Uh, second of all, I've been meaning to do this tutorial for a long time and I'm um, pretty excited about this experimentation that I'm doing. Um, th there's a cover that's coming this month by Poonam and it's called uh, Jochuna Kurechari, uh, originally by Begomata. It's a tumri where the um, the beat was dadra beat. Um, instead of adding that, I want to take sounds from the baya and the daya and clean them up, turn them into something uh, completely different, like a drum beat that we can sample into uh, battery four, and that's Native Instruments battery four. It's an amazing plugin. If you haven't used it, use it. Check out the different features, the EQs, comps, um, the envelopes that exist in it. Make sampling and um, sound modifications a lot easier. Give me feedback or if you have any questions, you know, post them um, on the comments section and I'll get to them um, as soon as I can. easier to edit in the long run. I think I have plenty of stuff that I need. Um, we are not going to go overboard with the different sounds. I'm really going to take like two of the bias sounds and maybe two of the double sounds and play with it and see how it goes. So essentially we have the um, two tracks, uh, one for the baya and one for the daya. And what I want to do is combine, to make the kick sound, I want to combine the K and this slap right there and the cut and into three different tracks. Create audio, three of them. Okay. And I'd like to go ahead and just, just copy these sounds. I think I like that particular K right there. So let's look at the... Yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. And over here, the timeline is pretty much uh, starting at um, the beginning of the measure, and I'm going to use that as the starting point for all of these audio files and these samples so we can sync them properly. So let's zoom in and Bring them in pretty close. All right, let's see what it sounds like. I'm gonna cut them. All right, let's cycle. If I turn the metronome on, yeah, that's pretty good. I'd like to go ahead and do a tiny bit of fade in and just do a fade out on these two also okay um, the reason I'm putting these the cut and the slap those those two sounds besides the the bassy K sound is because I want a sharper transient, I want a sharper punchier sound and I can probably get away with just the K but these two are going to make a difference 
um, and I'm gonna pan this one hard left and this one hard right and uh, let's see what it sounds like okay this one's um, a little louder so what I'm gonna do and probably a little earlier than the other sample so let's bring that okay I'm gonna take this and go over my gain and increase it as so I'm starting to hear that a lot more okay I think I'm okay with that oh all right cool let's bounce it so let's bounce wave 16-bit um, 44.1 kilohertz and I'm gonna do it in this folder we're gonna call it blah, this is the kick cool one of the things about logic is if you go to this browser right here and project media and all files and right here the last icon is projects it goes to the, pretty much the, the main folder where your project you've saved your project uh, like that's the logic file you can just traverse browse through the folders and this is where I just saved that WAV file you can just check that or you can hit spacebar yeah one more sample that I'm gonna play with is the snap okay and that's probably going to be these things okay so I really like that one right there let's drag it okay I'm gonna increase the size of this a little bit let's check it out with the metronome maybe it needs to be a little bit earlier any better there and fade yeah I'm happy with that and honestly this thing just needs to be like that short okay and I'm gonna bounce it again wave file and snap okay great there we go perfect okay so I'm gonna mute all of these things and go ahead and open up battery 4 stereo and create and what that will do is create the software track with battery 4 preloaded okay now you see this plugin it's got all these cells um, 12 by 4 and um, it has all the kits over here that you can load samples I mean it has countless things and of course the different effects and the um, um, parameters and modifications that you can do to each sample that's loaded here it's pretty fantastic so uh, a nice thing about logic is that you can just drag and drop these samples directly into the cell so I'm going to take the kick and put it right there I'm gonna take this snap and put it right here and my uh, MIDI keyboard is already mapped to logic and everything so this should be just like um, C exactly so first thing I'm gonna do is just kind of um, normalize the velocity on both of these things so it's exactly 127 I can always modify that later on within battery and even humanize the um, the sound and the timing but for modification purposes I'm just gonna keep them highest velocity for each sample okay so uh, we have the kick right now and what I'm gonna do is first thing is come to the envelope in the main and um, change the release sustain and the decay see how short that is next thing what I'm gonna do is 
change the pitch of this to negative 12. It's already starting to sound like um, a vintage um, kick. We're about to further modify it, but I'm already digging the sounds here. And the interesting thing is I was playing around with these sounds and if you mess with the sustain and uh, release, you're gonna actually hear some 808 sounding kicks and I'll show you in a second uh, what I mean by that. It's, it's pretty interesting. But first I'm gonna go and go to the effects, make the kick more punchy. Battery 4 has a pretty nice SSL uh, EQ and compression built in with a version of the SSL that Native Instruments has license for. What I'm going to do is go to factory solid GEQ and for the highs I'm going to turn the gain down all the way. For the high mids I'm going to go turn it down a little bit more. Good so um, I get a little bit more of the bottom end and less of the top end. I'm okay with that. I'm going to compression and instead of using SSL I'm going to go to pro and 30 threshold ratio probably I'm gonna go up to 5 to 6 even let's let's stick to 5 for now attack um, is good release is good outputs fine I'm okay with that I'm good Good. You can always change the threshold to make it even more sensitive. Now one of the nicest things about the battery 4 is it, it has now the transient master built into it. So if I turn that on and actually make the attack more sharp, as in faster transient, and um, the sustain a little bit less, you get a little bit more punch on the kick then last thing I'm gonna do is turn the saturation and it's a tape saturation turn the gain down a little bit good so it sounds nice and tight and punchy again you can further modify it so back to what I was telling you about the decay and sustain if you go up you see how if I hold it, there you go. Crank up the release a little bit, and so here you, there you have a Bia 808. And in order to take this a little further for my hip hop fans and composers there um he can just copy this sample right here and i'm going to turn the first one to okay um Uh, there's a little bit of overlap and I'll show you what to do with that in battery 4 you go to setup and go to kit and uh, select both of these samples under the same kit so what they'll do is they'll cut each other off and so there won't be any overlaps okay so here we go again Pretty cool, huh? We're gonna mess with the snap for a second. And what we're gonna do is put the comp, it's nice. And main, I'm gonna turn, this is another filter, uh, kind of like of, you know, an EQ with just the inner two controls. You know, we cut your highs and cut your lows. Now, I don't know how sharp the cut is, but it does a pretty good job on filtering out unwanted um, frequencies and now one thing I'm gonna do is go on the master the reverb and delay 
I'm going to apply, you can send each sample to the reverb or delay. Here are the sends. And let's see, you already hear this, the spread. Okay, that's, uh, that's nice. So, so yeah. Uh, that's very interesting. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna have to then go back and um, listen to each one of the other samples like Nas. I might even take some of the other softer, softer strikes, turn them into hi-hats, etc. for um, Jochuna. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it and um, stay tuned for January 15th when we actually drop the cover song with all of these sounds.